This is Mrs. Malin from the Draper 2 campus and I am going to go over how to do a virtue letter with you. Before we do this, I'd like you to please go get your blue spiral and turn it to the back of the very first page where it has the virtue letter sample and on the next page it has a, a list of different virtues. Please pause me while you go to get that and then come back. Thanks for coming back. Okay, I've already done all of my presets, which are one inch margins times new Roman 12 point header double spacing. So there's my one inch margins times new Roman. I thought I had it there. 12 point header double spacing. All right. Now with this header, I wanted to show you a quick trick. Yesterday, or the last lesson we had, I had you tab over all the way to the right, but there's a quicker and easier way to do it, and I wanted to show you that today. We are going to justify or align right. What are we doing? Get ready. Justify or align right. So I'm going to go above this five and a half mark where it says right align. What should that say, class? Get ready. Right align. And we're going to click that. There we go. And then we're coming back down here, just like magic. Oh, there we are, times New Roman, 12 point, double spacing, so we're all set. The first thing I'm going to do is name my document. Now, since I'm doing a virtue letter, I'm gonna name it virtue letter, and I'm writing it to my friend Holly. So I'm just gonna write virtue letter to Holly, right there for the title. That way your teacher knows what assignment it is. And now we're going to do our heading. Our heading is student name, teacher name, class, date, day, month, year. Get ready, student name, teacher name, class, date, day, month, year. You guys are incredible. So there's student name, teacher name. You're gonna put your homeroom teacher for the virtue letter. I'm putting Mrs. Malin because that's me, I'm the teacher. But if your teacher is Mr. Pope, you're gonna put Mr. Pope. If your teacher is Mrs. Morano, you're gonna put Mrs. Morano. Now the class is writing and the date, the day, the month, the year. Okay, now I'm gonna look at this sample virtue letter and make sure I understand what to do. I'm looking at it and the very first thing I see is to skip three lines. But before I do that, I'm gonna look at the rubric really quickly. Just make sure you're using the three point paragraph format. Which format class? Get ready. Three point paragraph. Don't forget a topic sentence and a conclusion. Don't just write lists. Sentences should have a subject, a verb, and other words like adjectives, prepositions, adverbs, and conjunctions. Use your awesome writing skills to write a letter that this person will be excited to read. And no three word sentences. We need, we need big juicy sentences, not little three word sentences. Now how to get 100% on a virtue letter. This is something to pay attention to because I like getting 100%. And the very first thing that it says there is date is written formally in the upper right hand corner. Well, if you look at your sample, it doesn't show the date. That's okay. We want to write the date after the heading. So I'm going to skip a line. I'm going to just hit enter. And I'm going to right align this really quickly. Boom. Click that right align because it said the date needs to be in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to write the date. And you want to spell it out because that's how to write a date formally. Now the next thing it says to do is skip three lines. What are we going to do, class? Get ready. Skip three lines. Now we don't start a letter with everything justified to the right, so we're going to move it back to a left alignment. What are we moving it to? Get ready. Left alignment. There we go. So now we've written that date in the upper right hand corner and we've done that right, uh, that right align there. Now we're back to our normal spot and we skip three lines. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Dear Holly, comma, Oh, and I've made a mistake already. Oh dear, I will fix that. If you fix your mistakes as you go, you might not forget to fix them. We're gonna hit enter once. Now, in MLA format, we have 
to indent the first line of every paragraph. What are we doing? Get ready. Indent first line of every paragraph. So I'm going to move this little bar. I'm going to click that and move that over to the half inch mark. And now we're ready to continue. This says you have many great virtues, but I think I've got a better adjective than great. I think I'd like to use amazing. I love that word. You have many amazing virtues, period. With MLA format, we have one space after every period or comma. What do we have, class? Get ready. One space after every period or comma. You guys are incredible. One space. Three of the virtues I see in you are, now I've already chosen three for Holly, but if you're having a hard time choosing three virtues for your classmate, you can use this handy list on the page next to your sample virtue letter to figure out what virtues match your friend or your classmate. The virtues I chose for Holly are compassion, creativity, and Honesty, compassion, comma, what comes after a comma? How many spaces, class? Get ready. One space. Thank you. Creativity, comma, one space. And honesty. That is my topic sentence. So I'm still following that how to get 100%. I've done the date. Deer is capitalized and flush left. The student's name is spelled correctly. There is a comma after the student's name. I have indented the paragraph and it's double spaced. So we're good so far. We're gonna keep going. The next part is the first virtue I like in you is, and I'm gonna use the very first virtue that I wrote, which is compassion. You're always going to want to go in order. What are you going to do class? Get ready, go in order. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that. Now, I don't want to just say, well, I like that because you're compassionate. Well, I want to tell Holly why I think she's compassionate. So I need to think of a very specific example. Just like you need to find an example, a very specific example, as to why you think your classmate has that virtue. So the first virtue I like in you is compassion. I like this about you because... Now, Holly is a very compassionate person. Compassion means to care or concern. Uh, she has care and concern for everyone. She owns a daycare, and right now she's offering child care at night for health care workers, and I think that's very compassionate. So I'm going to tell her that. I like this about you because you are giving child care to health care workers at night comma, one space, even though you could get sick. Here I go, fixing my mistakes. And I'll, I'll take that suggestion. I think it was fine the way it was before, but I changed childcare the way they said. So I've given one example, and there's a period. How many spaces after a period? Class, get ready. One space. The second virtue I see in you is creativity. Remember, I'm going in order. Period, one space. I appreciate this virtue you have because now, Holly is very creative. She is always redecorating her house, and it inspires me to redecorate mine and to make my home a beautiful place. So I appreciate this virtue you have because the ideas you have to make your home beautiful inspire me to do the same. One space after the period. The third virtue I like in you is honesty. 
A holly is honest no matter what, even if it's hard. There have been times when she's told me things that maybe I didn't want to hear because she's a really good friend and once she made a mistake with money and I, I paid her too much and she gave me my money back and there have been other times when she didn't pay me, en pay me enough and she fixed it and she's so honest and I love that about her. So the third virtue I like in you is honesty. I enjoy this about you because... You are honest in everything you say and do, even when it's hard. I think there's an extra space there. I'm just going to double check. There was. See how I fixed that right when I saw it? Now it says in your virtue letter, there's parentheses, it says, then a concluding sentence of your own creation, such as, you are a wonderful friend who has a lot of amazing virtues, or you have many more virtues and I am glad we are in the same class. So I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to say, you are an incredible friend with many impressive virtues. See my nice juicy sentence? I am grateful to know you. Now that's the end of my letter. But wait, I'm not done. It says to skip a line. So skip a line. And now sincerely should be flush right. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to write a line. What am I going to do, class? Get ready. Write a line. Sincerely. I want to double check that that's spelled correctly because that's something that's on my rubric. Sincerely is capitalized, spelled correctly, and all the way to the right. You also need a comma after sincerely, comma, enter. And the next thing says, first and last name below sincerely. So there's the first and last name. Now I'm going to double check the rest of my rubric. It says less than three spelling errors. Well, I fixed everything as I went. And in looking at this document, I don't see any little blue or red squiggly lines. So everything looks okay. I don't believe there are any mechanical errors because I double checked after every comma and after every period that I only did one space. And I put capital letters at the beginning of every sentence. You want to think about your sentence jingle here. Now, beautiful cursive, we're not gonna count that, but it should be typed neatly. Your, your document should look nice and should be correctly formatted for MLA. The three virtue words are in the correct form to fit the sentence and they are. So you want to double check, check your form. I wouldn't say the first virtue I like in you is compassionate. I need to make sure that it fits. And then you're in the proper three point paragraph format and we are. We've got our topic sentence. We've got our three point paragraph, those three virtues and we have our conclusion. You are an incredible friend with many impressive virtues. I am grateful to know you. So we have done this well. So make sure that you refer back to this video or back to your sample whenever you're doing a virtue letter just to double check that you are doing it correctly. Thank you all for being here with me. You are amazing.